right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. So today I just wanted to share with you my holy grails, things that I have tried that I have love that I can recommend during the VIB holiday sale. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then let's go. But before we go, like we always say, comment, like, subscribe. Friends, let's go. So I do understand not everyone has the same likes, not everyone has the same budget. So I kind of picked a couple things for each category, just so it helps you make a decision. I don't only use luxury, I don't only use drugstore, like I dip into everything. I think the only category I don't have, two or three different, is lip liners. So we'll start with lip liners. So the ones that I can recommend are the Pat McGrath lip liners, especially Contour, which is like this perfect nudie shade. I like more of a pinky nude. So this is Suburbia. And then the red. It is hard to find a good red liner that prevents your red lipstick from feathering and keeps it looking great. And this is Blood Lusk and it is beautiful. And if you want to see when I use this, I'll link this video up here. But this lips set together with a red lip, beautiful. Let's move on to brows. So for brows, I have two pencils. I will give the Tom Ford Brow Gel an honorable mention, but I haven't used it long enough to sit here and say I highly recommend it, but I have it on my brows today with just a little bit of one of the pencils I'm going to mention, and it's becoming a fast favorite. Like, it is beautiful. So I just want to give that an honorable mention. This is the shade 04 Espresso, but at the same time, I can't ride or die by it yet. So I did combine that brow gel with the Hourglass Brow Michael Micro Pencil, and it does have a spoolie on one end. This is in the shade Dark Brunette, and it is tiny tip, a tiny tip for you to just do some hairline strokes, and that's what I did today. A few hairline strokes and filled out this brow long childhood story why i'm missing so much hair here but it yeah the next is the gucci brow pencil now this i was stunned by this this literally is like a pencil powder and this is in the shade 04 brun now this looks like a pencil but it goes on like powder and it stays and you guys know i am oily it stays even when you sharpen it it like drops little little particles like if it were powder this is amazing and if you do sculpt your brows like i clean up after i try to make them look the same because like i said this one has a problem you don't have a problem like you could just sculpt easily it comes cleans right up i am loving those two and those are two different price ranges. So for setting spray, I only have one as well, and it's the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I know they sell this in different, like dewy or matte. This is just the regular Urban Decay All Nighter. This is a, a small one. I do have the big jumbo that I bought, um, cause this one's almost gone, but this will lock your makeup in place. Highly recommend. So moving on to primer, I do have two, eh, they're a little different in price range, but so I have the Farsali Skin Tube Blur. If you go back to my previous videos and you look at the description, nine times out of 10, I have this on. It is a very like serum-like, but it's a little thicker, but if you rub it you could rub it in and then you tap into where you have enlarged pores and I have enlarged pores all over here, all over here. I'm oily, they're everywhere. 
this really does give a blurring effect. It is beautiful. And second is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I did end up getting the two ounce Big Mama because I got tired of the small, of continuously having to buy the small bottles. This is a mineral primer. It's oil free, it has sunscreen SPF 15 in it. It's just amazing. It feels moisturizing, but yet again, it controls sebum production from seeping through. This is wonderful. This is my holy grail. I've been using this for as long as I can remember. I can't even think back how far back it's been, but it's been a long time. So next for foundations, obviously I'm oily, so all of these are oily skin approved, but I don't feel all of them are dry skin approved. So starting with the NARS Soft Matte, I love this. And on days that I want a sheerer finish, because this is very matte, it is very um, medium to full coverage. If I just put the standard amount I'm going to use on my face and one or two drops of oil and mix like a face oil, whatever oil or serum you have, you mix it together. You could really shear this out and it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Highly recommend if you like medium to full coverage. If you like a soft matte look, this is it. Now moving on is to the Dior Air Flash. Now this is more of a light, buildable to medium coverage. I tend to spray this directly on my face, blend it out, and then spot spray where I want that additional coverage and then lightly spread it out. This is dry skin safe. This is combo oily. This is everything. Anyone can use this. If you have oily skin, you would do like you do any other foundation and set it with your powder and then maybe a finishing spray. But this is honestly a flawless skin-like finish. I'm sorry, the NARS is in this shade Barcelona and this is in the shade 3N. Next is it's another Dior, but it's the Dior Backstage. Now this is also in 3N, because if, if you're 3N in Dior, you're 3N all around. Um, I will say this gives still gives a skin-like finish, but more of a matte, fuller coverage than the air, than the air flash, but still very comfortable, very light. But if you do not want your makeup to budge, this is it. And it's just as much a proof as the Estee Lauder Double Wear without that thick, um, just full coverage feeling. And this is also dry skin safe. As long as you have been doing your skincare and you use a primer that you know works for your skin, this is beautiful. And last but not least for foundations, because I just love a good foundation, is the Bite Beauty Foundation. This foundation is very decently priced. It is very good. I know people with dry, combo, myself with oily. I've yet to talk to anyone that dislikes this foundation. It's really great. I feel like it's not spoken about enough. I love it. And this is in the shade M80. So let's move on to blushes. So in regards to blushes, if you haven't tried Hourglass blushes, try the minis. These, these blushes are beautiful. It is what I have on today. It's not this one, and we'll get to what I'm wearing on my face, but it is from Hourglass. And this is the Diffused Heat. And this just gives you this glow you could build it up as much as you want. I didn't want to intensify it too much because I have you know, a pretty bold eye. But the minis are worth it. You get 0 0.04 ounces in these. But if you're not sure and you really want an hourglass blush, but you don't want to invest on a full size, look into the minis. I'm really enjoying it. So next, I want to say I talked about this in my August favorites. September, I don't know. Everything's running together. The Patrick Ta. 
cream and powder cheek duos these are stunning and this particular shade i spoke about in my favorites video this is she's so la i'm not big on cream products because i'm oily but for me to find something that i can put the powder down and then the cream over it and honestly because i'm still so uncomfortable with that i still go with the powder directly over the cream after so it's like powder cream powder but it's still flawless absolutely flawless and i do own this and she's so la and then and do we know her which is more of the peachy shade and here's that one and it they're they're beautiful i'm loving both of them i wear them both all the time and sticking to the theme of just getting more bang for your buck this is a bronzer this is the hula bronzer and we're, we haven't moved on from blushes we get, i'm getting there so i have hit pan i love this bronzer but i use it more to like just because the brush itself i gotta wash this brush don't judge me is so fits in the hollow right here so perfectly it's just a quick and then swipe up and then whoop, swipe up and it's perfect i love this so when co the cookie the highlighter came out i was like i'm gonna go buy cookie and i'm gonna go buy hula each of them is 30 dollars each one like this full size they do have the minis as well but i just said why would i pay 30 dollars for one of these and a highlighter when I can get the palette. And I love this palette, you guys. I I have not dipped into Hula because I still have this one, but I love it so much. I was afraid of running out and not having a backup, but I have dipped into Cookie. So here it is. It comes with Cookie, the highlighter, Hula, the bronzer, and these three blushes for 60 dollars so it just doesn't make sense to try one or two if you at least want to try one blush and one bronzer or two blushes look into one of their face palettes and get more bang for your buck it's just my suggestion so let's move on to bronzers as you know love recommend the hula bronzer now on to different price points and textures. I am absolutely loving the new Gucci bronzer. And this is in the shade three. I love this bronzer. It, if you're sensitive to scents, I will say this may not be the one. Um, it does have a scent, but it doesn't linger. It, after you use it, it just goes away quickly. And I am really loving the Tarte Seychelles Cream Bronzer. I love this. I dipped into this quite a bit. And what's surprising is it's a cream bronze bronzer, but I really dipped hard into this in the summer. I really loved it. And I ended up buying it with the brush. And this brush is perfect. It just, like, it just fits. It fits everywhere perfectly to bronze to just bronze and blend it out so i highly recommend the bronzer if you like a cream bronzer this is optional but it does work really well so in keeping with the theme of just like the face powders this is what i have on my face today and it is the hourglass ambient lighting edit sculpture palette this is the large one the six pan so it comes with a bronzer two blushes two, a highlight and two like ambient finishing powders so this i have everything on this palette on my face today so i did bronze with it for the blush i literally just ran back and forth and that's what i used and then I swirled back and forth for the finishing powder 
and buffed everything in to just smooth out the harsh lines and then just lightly went in with the highlighter. And this is a very subtle highlight. It's not like see me, I know you can see it there. It's not like see me in outer space highlight. It's very subtle. It doesn't insinuate texture. It's very beautiful. And honestly, I'm not one to wear highlight on a day-to-day -day basis because it's like I tell my friends, I'm a built-in. I have a built-in highlighter. These oils are gonna seep through and Gling, gling. but this I will do this because it's subtle and when your oils come through it still doesn't insinuate texture even though it's a highlighter like you just dab that it looks like you just applied it like you fresh faced I highly recommend this palette and it is more bang for your buck because you get six one bronzer two blushes a highlight and two finishing powders you can't go wrong look at look at now the packaging will will get little fingerprints. On to eyeshadow palettes. I do have four and they're all in different price ranges and it depends. Now, if you like a smaller palette, more convenient, this Natasha Denona Zendo palette is beautiful. It is what I have on my eyes today. It's just so easy to use. You can use one or two shades. I used four out of the five shades today. <clears throat> I just didn't use this light matte, but you can use just those two. Just those, like you can do whatever. It's a fast, easy look at a reasonable price range. These Natasha Denona minis, they retail for $25. And if this is not your color story, she does have other color stories. Maybe her other color stories speak to you. The only other mini I have is this mini star palette, which is this one here. And I really love this one too. And it's very nice for fall. So just $25 for such a great formula. You can't go wrong. Next, keeping in the theme with the Natasha Denona, because I am loving this palette. These larger palettes do retail for 65. And I know I didn't mention the prices to everything, but I will have the prices to everything in the description box. But this Natasha Denona Glam Palette. So this is a cool tone palette, but you do have a few new neutrals in there to work with. I am loving this palette. This will probably be in my monthly. If it keeps going this way, it'll end up being in my yearlies. Like I recommend, highly recommend this palette. And again, if this is not your color story, look at the, her other color stories. I recently purchased the bronze palette. This size also $65. She has the, I think the sunrise, the love, or is it sunset? I don't remember, but she has a variety of palettes in this price range. Now moving more on to the luxury it, I have to recommend it because the formula is outstanding. And it's the Dior Five Colores Couture Palettes. This is the Pink Corolle, but they have the denim, the Mitza, the nude dress, the soft cashmere. Like they have so many. They have tutu. So this is like pinks. This is like a fuchsia pink, a light pink. This is more of like a nude beige color, a purple and like a very light purple topper shade. This formula is outstanding. It, it pretty much blends itself. I don't know what else I can say about it, except once you will try it, you'll end up wanting all of them. Warning, you've been warned. I will say this does retail for $62 for the five shades. But that formula, outstanding. And on to the last would be the Tom Ford wet dry formula. This formula I just recently tried for the first time. It's beautiful. And I'll link the video up here. I did one look dry and the exact same look wet just so you could see what it looks like 
but you these shadows you guys and again if you see the tf embossed in the shadows then that is the formula i'm referring to this formula is wow it blends really good as well and this is the first frost which is the holiday but they do have a variety of shade ranges these do retail for 88 dollars but again I, I can't speak to the other formula this is strictly the ones that are embossed with the tf which i know is the dry wet the wet dry formula really good so lip line you know what i lied to you i do have another lip liner i could recommend and it's sitting right here it was in the wrong pile it was with the eyeliners the patrick ta lip liners it is what i have on today this is in the shade oh she's single i love this liner the shape of it lets you get like i always do my cupid's bow first and then line this is perfect the only negative thing i have to say about this is once you push this button and it goes up it's not coming down but he does have it in a variety of shades so maybe you could find the shade that works for you this is more of his nude shade and again that is oh she's single so moving on to lipsticks now i'm not much of a gloss girl it's just not me so i don't have any that i'm like ride or die i can recommend a hundred percent but lipsticks the oh she's single patrick ta lipstick which is what i have on today that goes with the lip liner and it is this nude here and it is a matte finish i did put a, a little like two little dots of a clear gloss just so it didn't look too the for camera but this i highly recommend i love and again he does have the lipsticks and the matching liners and i really i really am enjoying those next to go with the red liner i was speaking about there are two red lipsticks both of which i love their formulas but they are two totally different price ranges so first is the pat mcgrath and this is in the shade major red and it's in the same video that i use the red lip liner this is a blue undertone red it is gorgeous it is it's potent it's red the good thing that i really like about it and i think most reds that i wear the other one the next one i'm going to mention does too they wear off nicely and they wear off with a slight with a tint they tinted and stained your lips a little bit so when it's wearing off it doesn't look like oh you're missing your lipstick girl it's very pretty it wears nicely and this is in the Lux trance formula and it's not matte it's creamy but it's beautiful and I recommend it and last is another red and it is a blue undertoned red and you can't really tell but this and i know it's in different packaging now this is the sephora rouge the red like the sephora brand the red this is stunning i love this red nine times out of ten if i wear a red where i have to have a red in my purse this is usually it if it's a red that i can put on and go and i don't know i know i don't have to touch it up then i'll do it at home and i might use the pat mcgrath but if i need it in my purse she's gonna be it but she wears really good am i the only one i'm just weird about carrying my more expensive makeup in my purse because i'm gonna turn up i'm gonna drink i'm gonna open my purse and if my lipstick falls or I lose it, like, I'm going to come home, I'm going to be big mad. I'm not doing it. So I tend to travel with cheaper makeup. I tend to put cheaper makeup in my purse if I'm going out 
partying. Not like I'm doing any of that, but that's just my mentality. Am I the only one? Let me know. We'll get through this. Two more categories, eyeliners. So for eyeliners, just in different price ranges that I've been reaching for, is the Dior Show 24 Hour Stylo Pencil, and this is in black. I've also been reaching, which I have on today, my lower lash line. This is just Sephora line. Very good pencil. It's the Gel Glide Liner, waterproof, and this one is in the shade Red Berry. I've been reaching for this a lot, more especially with like pinky purple looks. I really like it. And the popular Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. And it is what I have on my upper waterline and tight line today. And last category, mascaras. Now I've said on my channel before, it is difficult for me to recommend a mascara, but I have a ton, especially like deluxe samples. And these are just the ones I go for every single time lately. I have not used one that is not one of these. And in, they are in different price ranges as well. So this is the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. This is not even waterproof. It is difficult for me to find a, mas a mascara that I enjoy that's not waterproof. So a big heads up for this one. Next is the Marc Jacob At Lashed. This is what I have on today. I like how it gives me this wisp and all this volume. Like, when I look for a mascara, I don't look for length. I look for volume because I have the length already. So I'm really enjoying this, especially for a nice evening or full lash look. And I've really been enjoying the Dior Show Iconic Overgirl Waterproof Mascara. Now, this is more to me like a day look. It does separate all the lashes and it does give you a little volume, but not, not like the at lashed in my opinion so this will probably be one of the very few times you will see me recommending mascaras but these are the only three i can stand by at the moment okay that that's it guys like i cannot recommend a concealer because i haven't found my holy grail now the boing the boing traditional spot concealer that comes in this little pot. This is everything to me. I already have a backup over here waiting. I, I cannot live without this. So if you have, well, you can barely see them today. This spot concealer is amazing. I have probably one pig, hyperpigmentation right here. I have, and then I have all this here and all of this here with hyperpigmentation. It is getting better with skincare, but this is everything. It is wonderful, it is creamy, but it gives you the coverage. It won't look cakey either on top of or under your foundation. I cannot say enough great things about this. This is holy grail, above holy grail status, if there's any other status above that. But this is in the shade 02. And I had to give that an honorable mention, but as far as under eye concealers, uh, I haven't found a holy grail. I'm still on the search. I hope this video was helpful. I hope just showing you different things that I really enjoy in different price ranges and showing you how to get more bang for your buck was helpful to you. I understand not everybody sits here. Not everybody's on YouTube. Not everybody sits here and plays in makeup all day. And not everybody has the time to do that. So get things you know you're going to use, you feel will make your makeup routine more simplistic and that you'll enjoy and you'll have fun and you'll say, wow, I really like this product. And try to hit pan, hit pan for me. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like for me to do a video of what I plan on picking up or what I've got my eye on and I'll do that for you. Until next time, thank you guys. Love you. Bye.